Meteorologist Mike Seidel is live in Ann Arbor, of course, home to the University of Michigan. Go Wolverines. Uh, Mike, you've seen some interesting things that the ice has covered and it's kind of frozen in time in some places. Yeah, we saw that at the hotel yesterday. Uh, in this area, it's just ice, ice everywhere, except, Stephanie, on the roads. Yesterday, remember, it was 32 most of the day with the rain. So now, uh, as we've tried out, the road here is mostly dry. There's no ice on it at all unless some ice falls off the trees. And that's going to happen in a few hours once temperatures uh, get above freezing. Interstate's fine. So mainly just watch those sidewalks and uh, driveways around your house. And again, it's the metal surfaces. You'll have to scrape your car this morning like we did earlier on. Temperature right now, 29 in Ann Arbor. Here's the ice on the trees. And it, it's really hard for me to say more than a half inch at most. If you get right over here, it's, it's really hard to see. You see the limb, um, maybe a half an inch. We've had reports of six tenths of an inch of ice in some communities like Portage, Michigan. But this is uh, what we have here in Ann Arbor. Even with this much ice and some wind, Power out here, 40%, just about 40% of customers in this county, Washtenaw County, and that ends up to being about 70,000 customers. And Stephanie mentioned the hundreds of thousands statewide, and they're all in the very lower part of lower Michigan. If you go on a map, a county map, and count three counties in and go across the state, basically all of those counties are have uh, significant power outages. You go one county or two counties north, virtually none because they had sleet and snow up north it was all snow but that's all ended right now just a little bit of mist out here stephanie and we're just waiting for those temperatures to climb the ice will melt off and disappear and the power crews will get the power back on it'll be interesting to see how long it takes it will get kind of breezy this afternoon and this evening uh, because what we've been hearing from the dp uh, department the uh uh department of uh roads here in ann arbor is that the uh, trees are few and far between. They're here, they're here, mostly limbs. They clean them up, they follow and find the next limb. So it's not one of these total disasters where yeah. roads are closed and there's a lot of big, <clears throat> heavy trees because the ice accumulations weren't that high uh, here in this area. Yeah, but I mean, Mike, that was a good shot. You could really see it accumulating on there. Um, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I'm just curious. You can tell me you didn't look it up and that's totally fine. Do you know how many hours that uh, the freezing rain was falling and accumulating? Uh, yes, uh, it started uh, raining uh, late yesterday morning, and it stopped last night officially at Ann Arbor Airport about 9.20. I believe it was 9.20 p.m. Eastern. So we had about a nine, let me see, I went to the restaurant at 11, 11, 9, 10, about 10 and a half hours of freezing rain. Okay. The liquid total was 0.97, so just under an inch of liquid. As we all know, not all of that ever accretes yeah. because of the wind. The temperature, again, was marginal. Yesterday at 32 at the airport, we were seeing yeah. these little icicles dripping. So that tells you it was not quite That's good news. freezing at that yeah. location. So there you go. Mikey, I love your technicality. I knew you would know. Mike is the best of the best. He knows it all. He's one of the smartest guys here at the Weather Channel. Uh, Mike, appreciate your report. Oh, no, go get warm it, there. Stop it. Stop it. We'll check back it. with you. You are. You are. He is one of the uh, smartest here. So I knew he would have that information. Yes. Good morning, Tim. You've got the road issues. We have really no road issues. We have the power outages here in Washtenaw County, the home county to Ann Arbor. We've got about 70,000 customers out, just over 40 percent of the customer base. Statewide now, it's edged, uh, edged up some more. 724,000 customers in Michigan alone. Uh, if you talk about the whole Midwest, we're up around 900,000 customers. We don't have any wind. We have a little freezing mist right now. The temperature, though, has jumped up to 30. So we're getting close. But we're still not up to 33, 34, 35. We will be by lunchtime this afternoon. We're expecting highs to top out in the mid 40s. Here's the ice on the trees. Now, around this area, we're seeing mostly about a quarter inch. We did get one report from the Ann Arbor area of three tenths of an inch, but that's it. Fortunately, we didn't get three quarters to an inch. It would be a whole different world here. We'd have a lot of trees. Uh, entire trees down and a lot more power outages, believe it or not. All the power outages in Michigan, by the way, and the southern, extreme southern third of the state, if you get a county map and take the lower three counties all the way across, that's where all the power outages are. We've got some tree damage here in this neighborhood in Ann Arbor. There's a pine tree, a limb, couldn't handle the weight. That's come down. Behind that, you can see where a tree snapped and it's come down. 
So enough weight, you know, hundreds of pounds of extra weight on these trees, if they're big trees, and the power lines. Uh, fortunately, on this street, the power, for the most part, is buried. But somewhere, a line came down because the power went out in this neighborhood about, uh, about 3, 3.30 this morning. But power really started going out yesterday about 4 to 5 o'clock. And then once the sun went down, we didn't have the help with the daylight. The power outages just, I mean, they just zoomed up to a half a million. I think it was, we were up to about a half a million not long after midnight uh, last night. So, uh, Alex, it's all about the temperatures getting above freezing and then getting the power back on. But again, the roads here are in excellent shape because what fell fell at 31 and 32 degrees yesterday, and most of it fell during the daylight hours. So it just kind of ran off the roads. Well, thanks so much, Mike. That That is good news to hear that the roads have held up. Uh, but there are other areas where it's a, a little bit more difficult out there where the ice has really added up. Yes, indeed. We had 97 hundredths of an inch of rain. And, you know, you do the 10 wow. to 1, that would be about 10 inches of snow. But it wasn't to be because uh, we were undercut by the cold air at the surface and warm air aloft. Let's bring in Mr. Adam Late from the Washington County Road Commission. We talked to you yesterday before we had all the power outages, but they really yeah. ramped up uh, late afternoon and overnight. Right now in the state, we're at uh, 760 plus thousand. Here in the county, we're at uh, about 70,000, 40 percent of the customers. So that leads me to what kind of night did your crews have here uh, around Ann Arbor? Well, it was a long evening. Uh, about six o'clock last night, tree calls started coming in. So we had hundreds of trees we were patrolling for last night, and that's continued into this morning. And what was the uh, status this morning as far as trees? How many have you picked up? Uh, are there still roads blocked in the uh, area? Yep, still have some roads blocked. We have about 80 personnel out over 800 miles of unpaved road trying to clear some of those blockages. But we've moved about 300 trees this morning at about 7.15 when we got that number. Most of the trees coming down on power lines, because there's a lot of trees here that are down and limbs, but there's no power on the street. It's all behind the houses. Yeah, it's been a mix for us, actually. Uh, a lot of them have just came down on the roadway, so that's been helpful, a little safer for us. But we've had quite a few tangled up in lines as well. And how long did you uh, treat the roads yesterday? Uh, we were treating till about midnight, and then we started just chasing trees from there. Are you doing any more treatment now with the temperatures? No. Okay, so no. you're done with that. Now it's just the, the cleanup process. Yes, sir. Yep, and getting uh, the power back on. Yes. And we'll see what... Hey, Monday, it's supposed to rain, so yeah. sunny Monday, so you yeah. don't have to worry about ice next week. Right, more enjoyment. Okay, Adam, thanks for joining Thank us you, once Mike. again. And uh, thanks to all your crew members who worked long shifts in pretty poor weather. Alex, there you go, freezing rain, not, not a friend of folks who like to have heat and power. And as I said, 40% of this county is without power. Temperature is uh, right around 30. It'll be above freezing, we think, in about two to three hours. Later on today, mid 40. So this ice is all, it's just going to come crumbling down onto the sidewalk and melt. Hopefully, get the power on quicker. Quick, quick. We need to get the juice back on. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, Mike, no doubt about it. I think a uh, sigh of relief knowing that the, the weather situation is kind of holding up in terms of not staying really, really cold here uh, to prevent uh, some, some melting out there. It could be a whole different story if we were talking about a, a big, massive cold air mass diving its way on in. That's where we have our own Mike Seidel. Mike, when we were looking at the forecast for this, it was evident that power outages might be a problem with this much ice in the forecast. But from what I've seen you say this morning, by and large, it seems like things are, are, are improving quickly. Well, the only thing that ha here's the deal. We didn't have any issues on the roadways, so they're fine. A little wet and damp because the temperatures yesterday were just marginal and they salted the roadways. So there are just a few patches of ice this morning in the bridges and overpasses. As far as the power outages go here in Washington All County, we still have about 40 percent of the customers out. That has not changed. That's about 70,000 customers. Statewide, we're starting to see the numbers come down a little bit. We're down to 734,000 customers. So three quarters of a million customers without power, but that's down about 35 to 40,000 in the past half an hour. Across the way, you can see uh, this tree came down. There is no power, no power lines on this street. It's all behind the house. And so even with this big limb coming down, uh, you can see it looks like it's rotten. Uh, it didn't knock any power out, and that's been the case. Not all the trees are knocking out power, but they have been blocking some roadways, and they had to get that uh, out of the way. Temperature right now, 31. We're inching up. We started out this morning at 28. We need to get it 
up to 32.1. It's going to get there shortly, and then this afternoon will be in the mid-40s. So all the ice you see here is going to be dripping, melting, and we've seen a few cases. Uh, we've heard some small limbs snap and ice coming down. So we'll melt all this, hopefully get the power on sooner rather than later. But then later on this evening, the temperatures will go back down below freezing. Tomorrow's lows uh, between about 15 and 18. So if there's any standing water out here uh, this evening, it's going to refreeze. But uh, the damage has been done. And the ice accretion here, Alex, uh, up to about a third of an inch. That was the top number here in this area. We had higher totals in Michigan up to almost two thirds of an inch. Uh, and all the power, all the power outages, the lower part of the state. You get a county map, Alex, color in the first three rows of counties, and that's where all the power went out, just where that ice, the freezing rain was. North of there, sleet and snow knocked out very little power. Yeah, so key about where you were with this event, no doubt about it there, Mike. That southern portion of lower Michigan, that's uh, that got the brunt of the ice. That's where we're facing those power outages. Thanks, Mike. We'll certainly check back. Good morning once again from Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's right, the home of Michigan, the big house. I'm meteorologist Mike Sedell. Notice the roads are not icy. They weren't icy at all, really, because yesterday when most of the rain fell, it was 31 or 32. We had the daylight. Now, we did get some icy patches patches on some bridges and overpasses this morning. That's not a problem anymore because we have daylight. The temperature's up to 31 degrees. And I want to show you some of the pretty scenes. you got to admit... Even though ice causes a lot of problems, all the power outages, it is pretty. And if we could get the sun out today, hitting these trees before the ice fell, falls off and melts, you get some great, great pictures. But notice the ice. Come, come over here, uh, Jake, and right there, about a half an inch, maybe just almost a half an inch. Basically, a, I'm, I'm sorry, a quarter inch or so. Uh, basically, a quarter to a third around Ann Arbor. Power outages remain the same, about 70,000 customers. That's about 40% of the power base in the county. Statewide, we're at about 650,000 customers. That has come down a little bit, so we're starting to see a trend downward. Right now, we want to see a trend upward with the temperatures. Right now, it's 31 here. It's also 31 in Detroit, so it's come up three degrees. Next few hours, we'll squeak up above freezing, and eventually this afternoon, we're expecting the highs to get up in the mid-40s. So by later on this afternoon, all the ice will have melted, fallen down to the ground and melted. Now, temperatures tonight, later on this evening, will get back below freezing tomorrow morning in the mid to upper teens. So we'll have any moisture around uh, refreeze. So power outage is the number one impact here by far. The roads turned out to be okay because it wasn't raining at, say, 25 or 26 degrees. And we didn't get any sleet, per se, just a little bit of sleet yesterday around lunchtime, which can accumulate and lead to uh, a sheet of ice on uh, the roadway. So good stuff out here right now. Uh, just waiting for the uh, warm up, the ice to melt and try to get that power back on Alex. Power crew should be in pretty good shape right now because the wind is almost calm. It will get a bit breezy later on today and this evening as the drier, colder air comes in here to southeast uh, lower Michigan. Wait a minute. Uh, thanks, just, Mike. What happened? Another. Yeah, uh -huh. we keep hearing uh, we keep hearing like uh, Cracks and uh, limbs and branches are falling off around us. And so we hear that. Uh, that's why I turned my head. And that, we're going to hear more sense. of that as the temperatures warm up. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Mike. Makes sense.